All right, all right, look at this, look at this. It's like a well-honed system. My employees are going ahead and assisting all of the guests who are currently coming over. Excellent, excellent. Let me just go ahead and serve this latte and then I can let Aaron and Zoe actually handle a whole bunch of the work to get our little tiny tigers cat cafe really thriving. Good job, everybody. Yay, look at this. We're really starting to be able, oh no, I don't have milkshakes. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm doing my best right now. We're trying to study some stray lures, so I do not have time for milkshakes. <laughs> But hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to Cat Cafe Manager and Tiny Tigers, which as usual is chaotically busy. So we're going to actually take just a moment to take a couple deep breaths and uh, here I'm going to, I'm going to do our little immersive role play thing. All right, let's go ahead and sit down at this table. We're going to sit and talk with this businessman for just a second. He really wants to go ahead and order himself a lovely Italian espresso, which we were going to serve up to him in an adorable little kitty cat shaped glass. And uh, he's a little uncomfortable because they actually want to have more comfortable seats now that our business folk are getting more and more discerning. But welcome back, friends. So, in order to make sense of all of the mass chaos that is the cat cafe, I can't believe we're going to have so much more room to expand to. <clears throat> I have actually been trying to go ahead and keep notes on everything. And my biggest notes that are underlined right now say make a proper coffee making area. Because when this place gets so busy, I want to have like a really nice coffee zone back here to like make our coffee cafe so that we can go ahead and we can snag all of the coffees that the business folk and the artists and the punks need in order to keep them happy. And I think, I am not even sure, I think we actually have, this is just a normal coffee machine. So it would be a wonderful to go ahead and get ourselves a hipster coffee machine that we could replace that with to make like this place even more hipstery vibes. And I wanna replace this rug. Those are what I have down as my like most important things to do for the day, which means hopefully the punks will leave behind a lot of materials we can expand the cafe with. And look at all that gold and all those jewels. Woo! We have all of those left over from the previous days that we can actually go into town and hey there are well we can go ahead and we can actually start buying some of the things like a hipster cutting board which I don't know if, I think we have a hipster cutting board but I need the hipster coffee machine <gasps> and we could get myself a new rug Woo! I want to or bookshelves oh my gosh I really want a bookshelf that would be so cool I don't know what the basic rug looks like either but we could also get this painting of Missy the 14th Okay, that actually sounds really important because having more flowers around will actually make my witches happier. And if I had some more flowers, I would actually have a bigger boost for my tea rific special skill I have, where if we have four tea room itemed things, then I'll be able to get a big boost to my skills. All right, let's actually go back to the cafe and survey this for just a second. So let's see. Uh, magic aura books coziness. Coziness is better if we have more room for uh, the vagabonds. They really love coziness. Hmm. Hmm. A scratching post score. Toy score is four, but our cats, these cats don't play with toys. Oh, I think that maybe the cats we are going to get when we get the fancier cat lures are actually going to be the ones that care about all of these things and will play with the toys we got. Good to note, good to note. Uh, as for like the tea items, I have this elegant flower and I have a couple of our like tea room windows, believe it or not. You just can't see them because you can't see the walls. It makes me so sad. <laughs> So if we had like a picture of Missy the 14th, a couple of them, and another tea themed plant, I think we'd be doing really well. So let's go back over and we're going to go ahead. We can get lush or elegant flowers. I'm going to go with elegant because they remind me of spring. And then I'm going to get a basic rug. And that kind of hurt because I really want more gold. <laughs> I really want to have more gold and I really want to just have everything be a teensy a bit more comfortable. All right, let me prepare a salad for everyone. There we go. And we'll go ahead and take some orders. People are really upset that I don't have, that I do not happen to have uh, the ability to make them the iced coffee. So maybe I should work on that. 
And then let's come in and we're gonna call over, let's see, I need to have three regulars at heart level three and I need to have two regulars at heart level four. So let's actually go ahead and call over Finley today. Hi you, thanks for calling, I'll be right over. And we'll have our little artiste come visit. All right, let me serve this Italian espresso really quickly and take a ton of orders. All right, we'll serve this latte as well. Yeah, we're starting to get to the point where everything is just like really, really busy. Oh, but look, people are starting to really enjoy their things. Oh, hey, Finley's already here. Oh my gosh. All right, let me go ahead and prepare the sandwiches. And then once I prepare it, my staff can go ahead and just deliver all these things. All right, there we go. There we go. And when I have a stray moment, I can actually come out and I can help out by serving some of these things. Oh, and we have a witch visiting. I don't know how she snuck in here, but she wanted to sit around to have a chat. All right, let's serve this ham Sammy. Oh, hey! And so I hope Finley had a good time. I don't know if she did, but she did kind of zip in here pretty quickly. All right, there we go. Oh, we're out of coffee beans. <laughs> Woo, okay, we're gonna come in and we're gonna get some coffee beans. I am starting to run low on a whole bunch of things. I'm gonna need more root beer at some point in the near future. So I'm actually gonna get like 20 coffee beans. Let's go for the big, let's go for 30 coffee beans. Cause I know what these people want right now. Um, and then should I, I'm gonna learn the cold brewed coffee. We're gonna need more milk for that. And now I'm out of nectar, which is kind of alarming. So we should probably invite the witches back over. But let's actually finish taking everybody's orders for the day before Aaron, Zoe, the cats and I all collapse on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Try to hand out stats and skills and see how the day has gone. Also, somebody made some trash outside my cafe. How dare you? Rude. <gasps> I wonder if I can get two doors. Oh, you guys. That would be so cool to have a second door for my whole cafe, like over here. I am so on that. That sounds amazing. I need to get another door. All right, we're gonna definitely do that. Let's replace the walls. Look how cute everything is. And then let's decorate a little bit. We can go ahead and add in more of the plants, <laughs> which makes me very, very happy. I'm gonna put the plant back here. And here is our current new rug. We can put away the dusty rug. And then uh, I can actually pick up this rug. And I think I picked up a like broken window for just a second, but now it disappeared again. I don't know how you're supposed to get the windows. It's just gonna be a mystery forever. We're just always gonna have one broken window, but that's okay. Phew, but all right, so look at this. Oh, it's so cute. It really motivates me to try to work to make myself my own adorable little coffee zone. So on that note, I cannot currently afford the hipstery coffee machine, but I am totally gonna to work on that. And apparently the hipstery coffee machine gives you a little bit of a tech boost as well. Uh, and let's check in on our staff. I can actually help someone level up. Let's level up Erin because I think she'll get a new skill point. And I think I'm gonna level her up in service. <gasps> Cleaner, enables the cleaning skill. Can't just stand idly by while dirt and trash piles up or gourmand so she'll get better at cooking or barfly. I'm gonna have her enable the cleaning skill and then I'm going to give her more skill in service. Yay! Woohoo! I can also level up Zoe! Ooh, Night Owl! 50% to all skills after 6 p.m. The Terrific, plus two to all skills with at least four pieces of tea room furniture present in the cafe. Magically attuned, plus two to all skills when at least four pieces of magical furniture are present in the cafe. Um, she's a barfly at the moment. And then after 6 p.m. All of her skills would go up. That's when we're really busy. Let's make her a night owl. Cause I feel like that's when we have literally the most people. Uh, and I'm just gonna make her really fantastic at service. <laughs> there, and then finally, let's go ahead. Oh, Brian, I love how you can see the cats you've adopted out. Uh, let's actually work on, if I needed to get a big skill right now, I feel like it would be with our punks still because I want a lot of material to vastly expand our shop or with our witches. We're running low on food a lot. So let's actually train Nico. <gasps> and he can be a weirdo with plus two bladder need, but then he can have plus three witches. 
What? That sounds like such a great skill for our cat to have. Oh my gosh. Or he could groom the other cats for fun and profit. Provides two cat clean for your cats. No, we're gonna make Nico the party cat who floats around weirdo who makes messes everywhere. Uh, we're just gonna say he knocks stuff down because, you know, he's flying around. And plus three to witches, plus seven to witches. Yes! <laughs> That is going to give us so many nectars. Let's go ahead and summon the witches tomorrow. Uh, and then I still want to work on everything else we currently have because I really want to be able to go ahead and get ourselves a bigger place. Oh, yeah, and now Zoe is cleaning. Oh, I'm so happy. Or Erin is cleaning. <laughs> We're doing great, you guys. So let's see how we could have made Finley a little happier today. Because I would have really liked to have a higher rank with her. But she was actually super happy. Her friendship level just hasn't pinged up to three yet. But I'm sure we could do that tomorrow. And then cold brew coffees for the punks are really where it's at. So hopefully the witches will come in force enough that I can get more of like the soy milk. <laughs> or whatever I'm using. Probably oat milk. I bet oat milk is pretty good. Ooh! And speaking of witches... But also, speaking of all the friends we need to make along the way, let's call Finley back over. And we're probably going to learn a little bit more about her story today, friends! Yay! And while we're, like, getting ready for everybody to come over, I'm actually going to scooch this chair up one. Because... And then maybe move this magically attuned thing over here. Here, we'll have all those things just kind of off in the corner for a minute. And we'll just put the Dare to Dream, like, in the bathroom. There you go! Motivational Dare to Dream poster in the bathroom. That actually cracks me up. <laughs> Yay! All right. And so now I'm going to help out with serving our guest. Hey, Finley's here! Yay! Prepare root beer. Everything's going well. I hope Finley is going to be attended to. Let me take these orders really fast. And then we'll get some latte. And I really hope we get witches soon. Oh, we're out of root beer. Okay, ah, and I'm out of, I need witch power. <laughs> Come to me, witches. Okay, we're gonna take off the artiste for a little bit so that hopefully we'll be able. I can't believe. And people are complaining about not having like milkshakes and needing more restrooms. All right, let me make a couple Sammies. Whoa, Finley. Oh, no, I went too fast because I was busy cooking. Oh, hi, Siri. What's with the thinking about pancakes look? Wasn't trying to ignore you or anything. I've just been kind of stuck working on my music is all. Uh, what instrument do you play? Um, none. You don't have to play an instrument to compose music these days, you know? Really? I mean, I guess that makes sense, but I would consider, like, playing with a mixer kind of playing an instrument. I build songs by mixing stuff I collect. Music samples, vocals, sound bites, stuff like that. Oh my gosh, I followed this lady on Twitter who did that with bird songs and it blew my mind and I think it's one of the coolest things I have ever seen. I'll let you listen to what I'm working on if you'd like. For sure. Although clearly unfinished, the music is dynamic and energetic, like being in a room full of kittens. I know it ain't great. Uh, I really like it, Finley. Oh, thanks for saying that, but it can be loads better, right? I just need to figure out how to finish it. Mark my words, Siri. One day you'll see my music top the charts. And not those top tracks to relax and witch to list. Carla la 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 writes to cheer me up sometimes. How many time? How many hits do you think I'll need before I can afford to leave Caterwall and move to the city? Hmm. Well, maybe less about hits, because viral things are usually never sustainable economically, and more about building up a sustainable base of skills that you'll be able to use in a wide variety of options, Finley. I hear the city rent is going up all the time now, though, but Caterwaul's going that way too, what with Hawkable buying up the whole town. I'd rather take my chances in the city. I can't wait to get to an actual club, have outdoor Wi-Fi, be angry while stuck in traffic. But uh, I'll stop by finishing this song. Thanks for listening to my rambling. It's been a, I've been a bit in my head today. I'll see you later, okay? Yay! Thanks, Finley. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh! She gave us a lovely easel. Oh, I am so freaking happy about that. And we just unlocked a thing called Hipster's Paradise. So I don't know what we have put down to make it like hipstery enough. Maybe it was art. Uh, Cause that was really fun. <laughs> Yay! All right, so hopefully we'll be able to make Finley just super duper happy. Let me go ahead and make this coffee. 
for everyone and I need more root beer, but I don't have my witches like working on that just yet. All right, we'll serve the cold brew. The witches are now getting fussy enough. They are complaining <laughs> about not having fancy toilets. All right, let me get these Sammies prepared. All right, I really need my witches to please, please, please leave me some nectar. Oh, look at our little mess maker. Oh, but we do have our new, our new little guy who's totally going to be able to make it so that we can have more nectar from the witches because Nico has been hanging out with the witches. Oh, the witches need like level seven service now for their, or some of them do for their skill. <gasps> We've done it. We have unlocked the hearty home cooking lure. Yay. Okay. So what do I want to work on now? We could definitely work on more food. I think that would be fantastic and really, really, really fun, to be honest. Um, we can also work on the new toilets. I guess I am doing an overall upgrade to everything, but I kind of want to work on like getting Harmony tea and pancakes. Oh my gosh, that sounds so cute. Okay. Um, let's go with chocolate sundaes and things like that for now for shakes and more because that sounds so cute. But hearty lunch sounds really good too. And then people would stay longer. Uh, but maybe it would be good to have like a nice toilet so that people would be like, oh, this place is really rocking it. Oh, so many choices, you guys. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do milkshakes first, because that just sounds adorable. All right. Yes, and one of my witches has left. <laughs> do I have what I need? I don't have enough for bottled root beer. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to need a lot of help from the witches, I think. All right, let's take a couple orders. I'm going to need to get a lot more bread. Just absolutely getting that going. I think maybe we should just have like a witch day. I might even have a day in between hanging out with you guys where I just have like a witch day, but you never know what might happen. <gasps> like the fact I can get the new lures. What am I doing? Sure, it's great to serve everybody all the food they want, but it's even better to have the hearty home cooked lure and to possibly get new kitties. All right, let's empty the food bowl and we're gonna place down a new hearty home cooked lure to try to lure in more kitty cats. And we'll see if we have some kitties who want to build up trust with us. Oh my gosh, and the witches are all just sitting because they want to chat with me. <laughs> oh my word, okay. It, it They do just want a witch social circle. Ah, I didn't chat with that one in time. Okay, so everybody's left. I need bread, I need root beer. I need to catch my breath. <laughs> okay, definitely need bread, definitely need bald root beer. We'll get a couple of those and a couple bread. I still think, freaking goodness, I have enough coffee beans, but we're gonna stock up on those just in case. <laughs> and I think I need to get ready with more ham and stuff like that because, oh my goodness, the witches, the witches. Yay, and I can go ahead and get the hipstery coffee machine now. Sweet, let's grab that. And then let's actually build out our shop a little. I think I can afford, yes. Oh, yes, oh my gosh, look at how much we've just expanded it. Okay, let's change the wall right away. I am still agog and so sad about the fact that for some reason we are not going to be able to like put windows on the back. I really wanna be able to do that so it looks a little nicer. Um, now we can put away this coffee machine and we can bring out Let's see, what does this one give us? Okay. Huh. So this gives us health two out of two. Is that the health for the coffee machine? Because I don't think it gives like people health. And then this hipstery or the hipstery coffee machine gives us tech. I know that for sure. Um, I think I'm going to move it over here. There we go. And I guess I could put like a little table over here to kind of like divide things. I want a little bar counter. I'm really starting to think about how we can try to make this look a little nicer. You know what I mean? All right, I'll move my little rug. Eventually I can put a little line of plants and other things that will have a, my own private zone back here. This is mine, my kitchen. Like get out of my kitchen, all of you, all of you guests. And we have just expanded this area. Can I get myself another door? Let's see. Let's. We do not have the ability to get the gaudy entrance. Uh, and I kind of want to hold off to see if we can get a different kind of door. Because <laughs> once I put down the doors, I think that you're stuck with that door for forever. 
All right, and I've noticed that we actually need to prepare like better service again. So I'm going to upgrade my service to eight because the witches were getting fussier about needing a good chit chat. But there we go, you guys. Nobody has come to my hearty home cooked lure yet, but I hope that we start seeing more kitty cats show up. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that. And everything else is starting to really come together. We're doing it, woo! All right, if you guys could do please leave a like for tiny tigers. I do think that we're doing delightful. Now we're starting to get to the point where I can kind of be fussy, like, oh, we're gonna move this over here. And we're gonna go ahead and move this over here. Give everybody a little bit more room, make it easier for me to get around. I love this. This is so fun. All right, yeah, if you could give a little like to give our little tiger a pet. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.